Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Are you looking to advertise your small business? Well, look no further. The Powercast Network gets over 4,000 hits per day, and we can meet your advertising needs. Our packages start out at just $1 per day, and you will get access to our 4,000 viewer strong market per day. Call today, 815-290-9087, or send an email to info at braddrake.net. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Welcome, everybody, to our 1987 Super Mod Christmas series. That's right. The whole month of December, we will be calling our shows a part of the Christmas series as we will feature only the AWA and the WWF. So here we are with the AWA, and we are getting ready to record two episodes of Major League Wrestling, and our only absent worker this evening is Jerry Blackwell, who once again, we mentioned this every episode, is out on that serious injury, and we have some protege work here. Randy Rose taking some protégés here, Larry Zabisco working with his regulars here. And Larry Zabisco is a good guy to learn from. And of course, so is Baron Von Rotschke with his decades of experience here in the game. And Tommy Jammer has linked up with him and learning a thing or two from the man. All right, let's take a look at our rundown here for these tapings of Major League Wrestling. Let me zoom us up here a little bit. And we're going to see Penny Mitchell in action, the Guerrero Brothers, Nick Konichki, Steve Regal will defend the world light heavyweight title, Greg Wojciechowski is going to be in singles action, Greg Gagne will defend the world television title, Don Morocco is going to be in singles action in our main event, the Fabulous Ones are going to challenge newly crowned world tag team champions, the Midnight Express. That's right, three television, uh, three title defenses on this television show. Uh, For the recordings for next week, we're going to see the Zebra Kid, Cactus Jack and Dream Machine and Tag Action, Steve-O, that's Steve Olsonowski, Manny Fernandez, Nick Bockwinkle, the Iron Sheik, the Midnight Rockers will be in action for the first time since losing the tag team title. And then the main event, we're going to see Larry Zabisco challenge Greg Gagne for that world television title. So with that said, with all that said, and it was a lot of that that was said, let's get to booking. Here we go. Garcia versus Mitchell in the opener here. Three minutes. And we'll go ahead and put them in here. Here is Jenny Garcia. And here is Penny Mitchell. Penny Mitchell's pretty nasty woman in the ring. Pretty rough. And she's going to get the victory here. She's 45 years old already. Wow. She's going to get the win over Jenny Garcia, who, of course, was a glow girl. So that immediately qualifies her for enhancement talent status. All right, we're going to have Randy Ricci and Russ Taylor. And they're going to take on the Guerrero Brothers. For those of you that have never heard of him before, Randy Ricci is also known as Rockin' Randy. He was a Windy City wrestling product, I believe, and uh, a good hand. And he is still out there training wrestlers, and I think he's still in the ring also. 
Here's Russ Taylor, and of course they're facing the Guerrero brothers. Guerrero brothers are slowly but surely getting over here in Canada. Rightfully so, they're an excellent team. Here we go. Guerrero brothers with the victory. Up next, we have Ricky Reed versus Canada's own Nick Konechki, and I just clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, Reed versus Konechki. Three minutes. And here is Ricky Reed. And there is Slick Nick Konechki. Nick Konechki, of course, has that alliance with Kevin Kelly and also with Doug Summers. Nick Konechki is going to get the win here. That one is in the books. Up next, Chris Zarna challenging Mr. Electricity Steve Regal for that World Light Heavyweight title. And Chris Zarna is going to do what Chris Zarna does best, and that's take the fall here. And as we know, Steve Regal has been an excellent champion for us. Here's Chris Zarna. And here is Steve Regal. All right, World Light Heavyweight title on the line. I know we've talked about this before, but we have a lot of new members. Not members, but uh, yeah, I'll call you members. Members of the PowerCast squad, that's what you are. Yes! <laughs> a lot of you are new viewers to our Super Mod series. And uh, one of the main differences between the AWA and uh, the WWF, also Jim Crockett Promotions in the WWF, was that the AWA would put the title on the line on television all the time. The WWF rarely did, and if they did, it was usually because they were setting up a title change. A little spoiler alert for you if you ever go and watch the old television tapings. All right, Chuck Greenley versus Greg Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski is just a bad, bad dude. And Wojciechowski actually retired from pro wrestling at one point in 1984, I believe it was, and then made a comeback and once again captured the WWA World Heavyweight title. I think he captured it twice. I could be wrong, but I think he captured it twice because I think he lost it to uh, Scott Steiner and then won it back from Scott Steiner. So here we go. Greg Wojciechowski with the win. He, of course, is managed by dastardly Don Carson. And we're going to have a promo here with the Fabulous Ones. So here we go. The Fabulous Ones are going to get five minutes. And here we are. We have Steve Kern, Stan Lane. Steve Kern. They're talking to Larry Nelson. And they are talking about Dennis Condry. And Randy Rose. So here we go. Entertainment. Entertainment. Off screen. Off screen. Bam. That one's in the books, everybody. Up next here, we got Jeff Grilly. And he is taking on Greg Gagne, who recently ended his feud with Doug Summers. Summers chased Gagne all over the country and into Canada over that world television title. and. Greg Gagne prevailed. Here is Greg Gagne. Bam, that one's plugged in. World television title on the line. Greg Gagne, of course, is going to get the win. That one is booked. Next up for promos, we're going to have Don Morocco cut a promo here. And Don Morocco, I want to double check here, but I think we've already aligned Don Morocco all oh, with Sheik Adnan LKC. Yeah. And, of course, they're going to be talking about Jerry Lawler. So, Don Morocco and Sheik Adnan Al KC cut up promo. And they're going to be talking about Jerry Lawler. Now, Don Morocco can cut his own promo. But him with Sheik Adnan Al KC should be pretty good. I like this pairing. Let me know what you think. I think it's very appropriate. So, you would have in this initial promo like this for Canada... You'd have Don Morocco. He'd be introducing Sheik Adnan LKC as his new manager, or LKC would be announcing Morocco as his new client, and then they would lay down their plan to dethrone the king, Jerry Lawler. 
All right, they are talking to Larry Nelson here, and they're talking about Jerry Lawler. So there we go. Jerry Lawler is off screen because he's not there. And Don Morocco and Sheik Adnan LKC are both based on entertainment. Now, we're going to have Houdini against Don Morocco. And Morocco is going to put the hurt on Houdini and look like, like a million dollars here on television all across Canada. So here we go. Here's Houdini. Here is Don Morocco. And Morocco, of course, is going to get the win here. This is a big signing, Don Morocco. I am very glad that we were able to get him. And he is going to be a big help for us. All right, here we go. The Midnight Express are going to cut a promo. And this could not go well. We'll see what happens. We just never know how these promos are going to go. There's Paulie Dangerously. Here's Dennis Condry. And here is Randy Rose. They're talking to Larry Nelson. And of course, they are talking about Steve Kern and Stan Lane. I'm sorry. Yes, they are talking about those two. <laughs> All right, entertainment and off screen, off screen. There we go. This one's ready. We're in the books with that one. Here we go with our main event. Let me double check how long it's going to go. 16. Okay, we got about 16, roughly 16 minutes to play with here. All right, so we're going to have the Fabulous Ones and the Midnight Express here. This one's going to be auto-named. Midnight Express are carrying the title. Here we go. Title on the line. And what do we want to do for the finish here? Let's have, let's have this one go to a draw. It can be an epic. Both these teams can handle it. And let's have a double count out finish. That's a good television finish. Just like the spot shows, we give it to them dirty. And then they'll want some more. So here we go. This one's booked up. We got two more minutes. We're going to add that two more minutes to the main. And that one's booked. We're at 65. Beautiful. Let's see how we do here, everybody. Red text the doom all over the place here for Penny Mitchell and Jenny Garcia. And we get a whopping 17 for this bout. I don't understand how a 37 and a 19 leads you to 17. But apparently, it does in TEW. All right, the Guerrero brothers get the win over Randy Ricci and Russ Taylor. 46 overall. The Guerrero brothers are not very popular in Canada, but they are getting better. So we'll take it. All right, Red Text the Doom all over the place here for Konichki and Ricky Reed. And even being Canada's own Nick Konichki doesn't even help him. <laughs> here, only a 28. 55 individually, though, not the end of the world. Up next, Chris Zarna and Steve Regal. And Regal beats Zarna with that Fort Lauderdale leg lock. And defense number 25, good for him. 55 for Regal on his own. 49 overall. Again, it's hurting us that, you know, we're out of our normal country here. So these wrestlers don't have the popularity that they would normally have in the States. Even though their popularity in Canada has grown by leaps and bounds with our television coverage and our events that we've run in Canada. So here we go. Wojciechowski gets the win with that Boston Crab. And, of course, he had dastardly Don Carson with him. And the Fabulous Ones do okay here in this promo. They get a 67. I'll take it. And the feud is on. The storyline has officially started. Here we go. Greg Gagne makes defense number 57 of that world television title. 59 overall. 74 and 22. Very nice. All right. Morocco gets a 64 here with his promo with Sheik Adnan LKC. And I can't say I quite understand this one. I thought we'd get a little bit more out of this, considering that Don Morocco just had all that huge international coverage with the WWF. But uh, something's up here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I figured we'd at the least get in the 70s here. But what are you going to do? 
All right, 59 overall. Morocco gets the win with that Tombstone pile driver. He's got a 74 individually here. And look at that. He's got good chemistry, great chemistry with uh, Adnan LKC. Very nice. And that's what I was concerned about. Another crappy promo here by the Midnight Express, especially in Canada. So hopefully that Morocco promo saves us somewhat, and hopefully the wrestling in our main event saves the show. And it definitely does, as we get a 90 here. Terrific score for that main event. Excellent. Excellent. Double count out. Terrific. Good stuff. Saves the show. Gets us. We lost popularity in a region with a 76? Do we have that high of popularity in Manitoba now? Huh. I can't say I'm following this one. It's a higher score than what we usually get up north here. I don't know. I can't explain it, everybody. There's a lot of things I just can't explain in TEW. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get rolling with this one now. We'll change our colors over because otherwise I'll forget. And, of course, we are pre-taping here for the first week of June. So we have Billy Moore versus the Zebra Kid. And this is probably the first time Zebra Kid's ever been to Manitoba. So you know this is going to get an awful score. I'm going to go with a 12. That's my guess for the, uh, for the score for this one. <laughs> Here's Billy Moore. And here is the Zebra Kid. Making his way from Chicago, Illinois. Zeb was a good wrestler. Very good independent wrestler. All right, Zeb with the win there. Up next, we're going to have our tag match, which is going to be Kalua and Williams versus Cactus Jack and Dream Machine. And I don't think we've seen Kalua for quite some time here. We have a lot of enhancement talents now, so it was uh, a little while before his turn in the rotation came up. And here is Dale Williams. And they're going to face Cactus Jack and Dream Machine. We're going to give the win here to Cactus Jack. And Don Carson's secondary team here gets the W. All right, Kenny Johnson. It's going to face Steve Olsonowski next. And here is Ken Johnson. If I remember, he's got a pretty good mullet thing going on. Oh, yeah. That is an, that is an awesome mullet right there. I knew I remembered him because of that mullet. And Kenny Johnson is facing Steve Olsonowski. I almost forgot there. You see that? I almost had to look. All right, Steve O with the W. All right, up next, Bun Boy Burton coming back after long term injury. And he is going to get ripped to pieces by Manny Fernandez here. So there he is, Bun Boy Barton. Welcome back, Bun Boy. And here is Manny Fernandez. And the Raging Bull is going to get the victory here. That one is also in the books. Kevin Collins, another guy with an outstanding mullet, is going to face former heavyweight champion of the world, Nick Bockwinkel. Bachwinkle still going strong here despite being in his 50s. And here is the former champion. And Bachwinkle is going to get the win again here. I like this baby face Nick Bachwinkle run. It's been a lot of fun. All right, the Iron Sheik is going to cut a promo. And I got, you know what, I got to double check here. Did we put Sheiky with a manager? He is. He's also with Don Carson now. Don Carson's got an army. All right. Iron Sheik cuts a promo. And, of course, 
dastardly Don Carson does not have to talk for the Iron Sheik. Sheiky baby can talk for himself. There's Don Carson. And of course, he is in a feud now with Scott Hall. So Sheiky baby is going to trash talk Scott Hall. And then we are going to punch in Larry Nelson here. So there we go. Entertainment. Larry Nelson on screen. Scott Hall off screen. That one is in the books. Up next here, we have David Price, a.k.a. Wolfman Jr. And he is going to get whooped up on here by the Iron Sheik. Here we go. Here is David Price. There is Sheiky Baby. And the Iron Sheik's going to get the win, and you know it's going to come via that camel clutch. All right, Greg Gagne is going to cut a promo here. This one could potentially be pretty bad. Sorry, just being honest. <laughs> but we got to have Greggy give a promo every once in a while. He's talking to Larry Nelson. And he's talking about Larry Zabisco. As these two are going to be embroiled in a feud now. Good stuff. All right, that one's in the books. And here we go. Hernandez and Sexton are going to face the former tag team champions of the world. That, of course, is the Midnight Rockers. They're going to go three minutes. And here is Jesse Hernandez. Here's Michael Sexton versus the Midnight Rockers. And Marty Gennetti is going to get the win for his team. Nice Canada appearance for the Rockers. That one is in the books. All right, our final promo of the evening here is going to be Larry Zabisco. He's going to go six minutes, and Larry Zabisco always brings the goods. Here we go. Larry Zabisco. Shoot, that was a mistake. He's talking to Larry Nelson. They're talking about Greg Gagne. There's a Zabisco Entertainment, Gagne off screen. And now we have our big main event here. As the two brothers-in-law, Lockhorns. For that world television title, which has become quite the prestigious title. And here is the challenger, Larry Zabisco. And he is facing Greg Gagne. This is a, this is a solid match here. We are going to go technical master class because both these guys can. We'll see how that works out for us. And we are going to have Larry Zabisco win, but it's going to come by countout. This will set us up for a match down the road. All right, we are at 65. Beautiful. Ready to rock here. All right, my prediction was a 12 for the opening match. It got a 17. Red text the doom all over the place. Zebra Kid actually did better here than I thought he would, but not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Cactus Jack and Dream Machine, they're a pretty good team together here. They get a 54 overall. Cactus Jack scored a 73 on his own. Good stuff. All right, Steve Olsonowski beats Kenny Johnson and his mullet with that backflip, 49, excuse me, 49 overall. And up next here, we have Manny Fernandez winning with that flying burrito, 58 overall, 72 and 22. Oh, Bun Boy Barton's just awful. <laughs> All right, Nick Bockwinkle gets the win with the Oriental Sleeper, and Winnipeg is happy to see Nick Bockwinkle back in action. 61 overall on this one. 
And here we go. Nice promo by the Iron Sheik here. 77 overall. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Don Carson has quite the stable going here with wrestlers. Up next, David Price versus Iron Sheik. And of course, Sheiky submits Price with that camel clutch. Up next, Greg Gagne only scores a 60 in his promo. I'm not surprised. He actually did a little bit better than I thought he would. And the Midnight Rockers in a squash match still score a 70. Excellent. Marty Jannetty wins with a super kick. I didn't even know Marty Jannetty threw a super kick. Apparently he does, because he won with it. <laughs> All right, let's see what the takeaways are here. Ah, the typical stuff. Poor basics, poor psychology. Michael Sexton's a mess. All right, up next here, Larry Zabisco with the big 9-7. Laying it down, everybody. Showing you how it's done. 97. Terrific score. Let's see how that main does. Only a 79? 88 and a 76 only gets a 79? Are you kidding me? Greg Gagne is fatigued? Our only takeaway here is Greg Gagne is fatigued? And we go from an 88 and a 76 to a 79? We should be at least an 80 or an 82. Oh, T-E-W, how you screw with us. I just don't know what to do. We're going to wrap this one up. We get an increase in one region. Wow, whoop de doo <laughs> Ah, you just can't win sometimes. All right, we're all set with that one. Now, this brings us to Thursday, which is going to be another spot show. I haven't decided where we're going to have it at or what we're going to do with it because we're rolling into back to St. Paul to kick off our new tour. So we will deal with that. And that spot show. But of course, tomorrow we are going to be featuring and debuting our WWF save. Tommy Jammer wants more money. He thinks he should be making $160 a show. Sure, Tommy, we'll give you $160 a show. You're awful. You're a rookie. You're not good. You're not getting $160 a show. Here's what we will do, though I'll give you $60 a show. That's how you do it, everybody. Keep it realistic. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. WWF All-American Wrestling. Awful. Another one that's just awful here. I can't explain this, everybody. I can't explain it at all. NWA, Orndorff over the Italian Stallion. We tried to get Orndorff, but he signed with them. And uh, only a 70 here. The only way I'm going to fix that is to go in as them and individually fix the tour. So we'll see if I feel like spending the time to do that. All right, that's going to do it for us, everybody. For those of you that are new to the channel, and there are a lot of you, please hit that subscribe button and drop a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. For those of you that would like version 9 of the Super Mod, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. And last but not least, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash 1987supermod. You can also find us on Reddit at the subreddit of TEW2020Friends. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and thank you for kicking off this edition of the Christmas series. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow with the WWF.